As we were saying, San Antonio ISD heads back to school this morning, but for hundreds of teachers and students, going to be quite a bit of change. Yeah, this is the first school year since the district's right sizing plan. Now, the school board voted last fall to close 15 schools and four facilities, all to deal with declining enrollment and limited resources. A lot of students and the teachers and staff now relocated to different schools for this school year. SAISD has begun holding meetings. They want public input as to decide how to repurpose those now vacant buildings. Kent's 5 Sarah Duran has been following this story for us this morning. Sarah, Sarah, what do we know about those new plans now? Hey, Jessica, we're going to have to talk about that later because right now I am in the library where you have to be very, very quiet. No, I'm just kidding. I'm the only one in the library. I don't think we're bothering anybody here this morning except for our Spurs. You can see there in the back, Tony, Timmy, and Manu, the Power Three. We're just missing Wimby. Yeah, so we're in the library right now here at the Young Men's Leadership Academy. Take a look at their library. It is big and it is ready for so many students here today. For those who don't know, this is located off of I-35 on the east side of the city of San Antonio. And it's also known as the first all boys public school serving fifth through 12th graders. As you can imagine, a lot of kids are going to be checking out this library today. As I'm still reading, the district says this school offers a model of education that is backed by research indicating that boys and girls learn differently in the classroom. The school puts an emphasis on learning and most recently college preparedness. Now, since their first graduation in 2022, the Young Men's Leadership Academy has increased their college attendance rate to 95% of students. We love to hear that. That is fantastic news. And again, if you were with us within the last 30 minutes, you heard from the school principal, Derek Brown. Well, he's going to join us back again here at 630 to tell us more about that special anniversary that's happening here on campus this year. I'll give you a hint. They're celebrating 10 years here at the Men's Leadership Academy. Very exciting stuff. And this principal has been with the school since it opened back in 2015. But again, a very excited day. I don't know if you guys like this book. I do. It's Dr. Seuss. So I'm going to stick it here with my lion friend. Get real cozy and read this book. Uh, but for now, we'll send it back to you. <laughs> Looks a little bit like, oh, the places you can go, which is a good read. Thanks so much, Sarah. Hey, friends, speaking